Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sammy here and welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm going to be showing you guys the best, easiest ways to make Robux in April 2021. And I hope you all go on to enjoy this video because, you know, this is actually really, really helpful and um, I hope all of you have really good luck when it comes to making robux and stuff like this this month and even the months coming afterwards so um yeah before we get into the video please make sure you leave a like and subscribe with the notification bell turn on so you never miss another brand new video on your channel i'd really really appreciate that i'm trying to go for 2k subs by the end of this month so um every little helps and i'd really really appreciate it if you could just subscribe it takes one second and it helps me get one step closer which i really really need but without any further delay, let's get straight into the video guys. So if you aren't too familiar with what um, AFK games are, AFK games are where you just sit, uh, well AFK really, and um, people will come into your game and donate to you just for being AFK. I don't know why or like what's the motive behind it, but all I know is that it works. And um, if you watched my stream yesterday, you would know that the actually worked and I got a 1.5k donation from Lionel big 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 shout out to you my guy uh, he didn't actually want any credit for him uh, credit for it but I'm gonna give it anyway because like he gave me 1.5k that's absolutely crazy so thank you so much Lionel and um, I got many more donations after that and um, hopefully plenty more to come and um, it is actually really really well so making an AFK game is super super simple, um, most people just get the regular base plate or the new one, whichever one they prefer, and they just get a simple donate leaderboard which is free, and it's really really effective somehow, and um, a downside to this is that people won't randomly come into your game, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have a little bit of robux to advertise it initially and then hopefully get lucky, but it is a huge gamble so um, don't expect perfect results each time because like people like Modern Chris like they got crazy amounts because of their following um, which you may not have but um, if you do that's great and you've probably seen this blowing up everywhere around Robux people are making absurd amounts just from AFK games and um, I have one myself as well so you know if you want to go donate the links in the description uh, you don't have to it's totally optional <laughs> but um, yeah it is a super super simple way and the only thing you really need is a PC which most of you guys will have but um, this isn't an option if you're a mobile or console sadly clothing or reliable everyone has tried clothing or done clothing and um, has wanted to do clothing at some point and um, it is because it's the best method out there if you want definite robux within a short space of time because look most of the people on roblox want clothes to make the avatar look nice and if you make the right clothes get the right tags and have the right people then you could make bank with clothing and um, you can get teams of uh, designers and you can get more groups and stuff which is really really cool the only downside to this there's actually two is you need premium which costs a bit of money and also um, there's a small fee when it comes to uploading clothing these days uh, I don't know why that is I might have missed this update because I don't remember it but apparently it is a thing and people are outraged about it because making clothing is now less profitable but it is still very very profitable and very very good for money Game development, in my opinion, is the most fun way to make Robux because there's so many different ways you can go about it, such as creating obbies, creating simulators, and loads of other different types of games. However, a big downside to this is that you need experience in building, scripting, and like sculpturing and all of that sort of stuff. You get the idea, and um, it also requires Robux in the first place, so you could go buy some or you could go earn some with some of the previous methods maybe, so that you can buy sponsors and advertisements for your game, boosting the amount of players in it and the amount of people who buy stuff in-game. Now a game has to be fun, creative, and it has to be like replayable so people will always come back for a good experience game development is actually super super hard so don't go like thinking it's really easy and then get caught up in yourself to make a game you need to have the time effort a skill motivation a good team and obviously your own will because if you're not willing to make a game then you're not going to get very far if you have no idea on how to make a game or how to even get started or think of ideas, anything like that, there are a bunch of tutorials on YouTube and um, 
yeah, you'll find one instantly on how to make a game. Just search up how to make a Roblox game, how to do this, how to do that, and I guarantee you will find something which will cater to your needs. And um, yeah, it's YouTube is really really helpful as well as the Dev Forum. Um, something I've figured out recently: the Dev Forum is amazing if you are already a developer. And um, yeah, the Dev Forum is just super super useful. You can find out lots of new stuff and um, get new codes and help from master scripters. If you've tried making games before but it's just really not for you, then what you could do is join a developer team where you only have to do certain stuff and you do get a payroll and it is super super good. Um, I haven't done it personally yet but um, developers have been hired and um, I can say that you form really good friendships with the people you meet and um, it's really really great but be careful though because you could easily get scammed and um, yeah just make sure that doesn't happen to you i can't really guarantee that it doesn't uh it might happen but it's highly highly unlikely joining a dev team as a worker is actually really really good because you can uh, ask for like percentages of the game and that is actually a lot better than a determined payroll because the game could make quite a lot and it also minuses a lot of that stress about having to handle payments having to handle hackers and um all of that stuff so um it is a lot easier being part of a dev team as a developer rather than hosting the dev team but hosting the team tends to get you more robux but anyway guys that was it for this video please leave a like down below and subscribe with the notification button on so you never miss any of a brand new video need. write in the comments down below which tactic you're going to use the most i will reply to every single comment down in the comment section below so go ahead comment whatever you like and um yeah thank you all for watching and enjoy making robux peace out